they could see you high and lifted up, Almighty Jesus. That they could know you and know you for themselves, Lord God. That they could experience the love of Jesus. How he sets you free. How he makes you a whole person. How he gives you life and gives it to you more abundantly. Oh, that we could all see you, Lord, for your magnificence. For who you really truly are, almighty God. High and lifted up. High above the heavens. High above the earth. Oh, mighty God, let all be drawn unto you and see you for who you really truly are. You are the Lord our God. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are the great and mighty one. You are the one and only true God. You are the one that we worship. You are the one that we adore and love. Oh, mighty God, you are the one who has set us free, Lord. You have set us free, Lord. We are no longer captive. We are no longer under the bondage of sin. For we are set free by you, God. You have done it all. You've done it all for us, almighty God. Oh, that we can see your glory. That we can walk with you and talk with you and be with you, mighty God. And enjoy your presence in our lives, almighty God. Build us up, Lord, in, your most, in our most holy faith. That we can be stronger and mightier with you, mighty God. That you would receive all the glory. That you would receive all the glory in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Hala alelelia lo ho shuru mo tete ri mo na na hai ye she na na hai ye she na na hai na na hai ye la hai to to ro mo yo lo 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 ho la an da da te ri mo na na ha shai ye te 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 ya na na hai ye che che ri te te ri mo ta da ni ni la hai a ta ta ya ta na na a ta ta ni ni ye la o lo o lelele ye le la a la ri na a ya ni ri a to to ro mo ye ye ya mo ta Praise me right in the middle of the trouble, right in the middle of the pain. Praise me, says the Lord. Glorify me, lift me up, magnify me. Don't listen to the enemy. Don't listen to the tactics of the enemy. Don't listen to what's happened. Don't listen to what's going on around you. Don't think about the things that are overwhelming you and the things that are overtaking you. Praise me, says the Lord. Praise me with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, all your being. Lift up your voice unto me. Shout unto me with a voice of triumph. Let all the enemy know that I am in your camp. Let all the enemy know that I am your king and your Lord and your strong and mighty tower. That I'm your rock, that I'm your shield, that I'm your ability. I'm the one that lifts you up. Praise me in the middle of the trial. Praise me in the middle of the trouble. Get your hands up and Set it down, says the Lord. Let your spirit rise in the midst of my praise, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, something's going to break. Something's going to break in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That heavy spirit's coming off of you. Hey, that heavy spirit's going in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, hey, 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 put on the spirit of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yay, yay, yay. Come on, Lord, come on, Lord. Rise up, Lord, rise up, Lord. Yay, rise up, people. Rise up. Rise up. Yay, yay, yay. And I have set you free. I tell you now, rise up and put your eyes upon me. For I am your strength. I am your health. I am everything that you need. Rise up now, my children. Do not fall down. Do not go down and, 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 and stay on the ground. No, you might fall. You might stumble. But I tell you, rise up. Rise up and look upon me. The Savior, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, your Redeemer, your great and mighty one. Rise up and look at me. Look straight into my eyes and you will have no falter. You will have no fear for I am your strength. I am everything you need, says the Lord. Rise up. Rise up just as I have risen up for you, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Hey, hey, the Lord is in the camp. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord high and lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, yeah. Sha ta 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 ta. To your way, I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me. With my whole heart, I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Come on, come on, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you in the middle of our trial. We praise you in the middle of our trouble. We praise you, God. We magnify you because you're worthy to be exalted. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be magnified. No matter what's going on with us, God, you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. And in the middle of your praise, you are. There you are, right in the middle of it, Lord, doing a great and mighty work in the midst of your people. In the midst of your praise, you dwell, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise can break the enemy's tactics. Praise can destroy the enemy's tactics against you. Praise can make you rise up instead of be down. Praise can destroy the enemy for you. Praise is what God desires for you so that you might be free, my people, so that you might know who you are, so that you might know that I'm with you in all things. My people praise me. My people lift up my glory. My people magnify me. My people know who I am. They lift up their eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. They know their help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My people will not stay beaten down. My people will rise up unto me and they will make glory and honor in my presence. They will tell of my greatness and my power and my strength. They will glorify me in the midst of all things. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Worthy, Lord. Worthy, Lord. Worthy to be exalted. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be lifted up. Worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All honor and praise, God, belongs to you, Father, the one and only King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. And we bless your name on today, oh God. We lift up your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for your healing power, oh God, on today. We thank you for your delivering power, God. We thank you for the salvation that you have given us. Hallelujah, oh God. For life everlasting, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you that this life is temporary, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That you're in control, Father God. Hallelujah. That you'll deliver us out of all of our troubles, God. That we can rise up, oh God. Hallelujah. That we can face the enemy, oh God. Hallelujah, with all of our armor, God, that you have provided us, oh God. Hallelujah, God. So we go forth in praise and thanksgiving on this morning, oh God. Giving you all the glory, God. Do unto your name, God. We magnify you, oh God. We lift you up, God. You're worthy, God. You're wonderful, God. You're everything to us, oh God. All of our trust is in you, Father, and you alone. There is none like you, none like you, and we thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, ha, ha, mahi. children do not stop keep on working keep on striving keep on looking to me for your help keep on building up and, and, and strengthening your other brothers and sisters for I am with you I am your strength I am everything that you need keep on working my children don't you ever give up don't you ever give up I'm gonna take you home I'm gonna take you home with me but on this earth I want you to work for me I want you to live for me I want you to tell everyone about me so that I may be lifted up and they may be drawn unto me don't think that your time is over don't think that you have nothing to do for I am still working with you each and every day says the Lord yay yay Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the glory and the lifter of our head, God. We praise you and magnify you as you said for us to do, Lord. We lift you up in the midst of the congregation. We give glory and honor and praise to your name. You are who you say you are. You are who you make proclamation about, Lord. You are the Lord Most High God. You are able to do all things well. Ha, ah, there's nothing that you cannot do, Lord, and you're in our midst today, Lord. You said wherever two or more are gathered, there you are in the midst of those uh, that group, God, in the midst of more than one. Hallelujah, there you are, God. Here we are in your midst. Here we are. You're, you're with us right now. You're, you're in the middle of all that we're uh, doing right now, all that we're saying right now. Lord, it's you, God. It's you. Hallelujah. You get the glory. You get the honor. You get the praise. You get the majesty. You get all things, Lord, for they all come from you. Everything is yours, Lord. We are yours, God. We are your children. We are your vessels of honor, sanctified and set apart by you for the work of the ministry, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way in us as it is in heaven, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let this flesh be your flesh. Let these eyes be your eyes. Let these ears be your ears. Let these hands be your hands. Let these feet be your feet. Let us be who you desire us to be in every area, Lord. Take us, mold us, make us, shape us. Make us, Lord, according to your greatness and your power. Help us, Lord, not to tuck our tails and run when the enemy comes in like a flood. Let us raise a standard by the spirit of the living God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Though the enemy and the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing against the Lord and against his anointed, we will not fail. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us and gave himself for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. More, more, more. I got more for you. I got more for you. I got more for you, says the Lord. I got more for you to do, more for you to accomplish, more for you to be. I got all things for you. I'm opening up the windows of heaven for you. Your gifts and your talents, I'm going to pour them out in my people. I'm going to pour them out on my people. I'm going to use you to bless my people. I'm going to use you to glorify my holy name. I'm going to use you to lift up and to magnify me as King of kings and Lord of lords. I'm going to use your gifts gifts uh, and your talents. I'm going to make you and mold you and shape you and form you in the midst of the times when you are giving to the people. You're going to know who I am in such a way that you're going to be able to speak directly for me, says the Lord. And I'm going to show you great things that are above all you could ever think, imagine, or ask, says the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, if you praise the Lord in the middle of your trouble, oh, praise him on the mountaintop. Praise him in the valley. Praise him in the noon. Praise him at the night. Praise him in the morning. Praise your God. Lift up your eyes. Glorify your king. Hallelujah. 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 You'll overcome. There will not be an enemy that will be able to overcome you. High as you praise and glorify the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, stir up the gifts that are inside of you. Stir them up. Stir them up. Hallelujah. Ah, you are called and chosen and set apart. You are the one that God has chosen and set apart. You are the only one that can accomplish what you can do today. You're the only one. God called you. God chose you. God set you apart. Hallelujah. Rise up and be who I've called you to be. Rise up and be the man and woman of God that I call you to be. Shake off those heavy bands. Lift up your holy hands to God. Magnify me. Give me praise. Give me glory. Give me honor. In the midst of the congregation, shout out loud for me. Let everyone know that I am your king. I am your Lord. I am your Savior. I am your great one. Ah, come on. Rise up. Rise up. Shake off those heavy bands. Shake off those things that the enemy has come in like a flood. Shake them off, says the Lord. Shake them off. Shake them off. And see what I won't do for you. See what I won't do for you, says the Lord. Ah, thank you, Lord. 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 Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Draw in close, says the Lord, for I am right here, right now in your presence. I said, come in, come in, draw in close to me, and I will fill you with my spirit. I will fill you with my very being. I will touch you where you've never been touched before. Draw in close, says the Lord. Come on out. Seek me, for I am here to be found. I am right here, right now, in your presence. Draw in close to me. Come to me, says the Lord, right now, right here, right now, in this place. I am right here, and I am waiting for you. Draw in close to me. Feel my strength. 
Feel my spirit move inside of you and give you power like you've never had before to witness for me, to be my, be my child, to be my son, to be my daughter, to be my, my one that speaks out for me and not ashamed of me, drawing close, drawing close and receive from me, says the Lord, for I am here for you right now, drawing close, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Marana. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Don'ta don't hesitate to be who I've called you to be. Don't hesitate to do what I've called you to do. If it costs you everything, still do what I say to do, says the Lord. I'm the one that called you. I'm the one that set you apart. I'm the one that made you. I'm the one that molded you. I'm the one that shaped you. I'm the one that's before you. I'm the one that's behind you. I'm the one that's on each side. I'm above you and I'm below you. I got you covered, says the Lord. Be who I've called you to be. Don't let anyone intimidate you ever again. Don't let any spirit of intimidation come upon you, but be the man of God that you were called to be. Walk it out, says the Lord. Let me be the glory and the majesty of your might, for I will use you in the midst of the congregation to accomplish my perfect will and, and be who you are, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yay, 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 yay. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we will not be intimidated by men. Hallelujah. We will be who we are in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hey, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 This is the day that I created. Thank you, Jesus. And I created everything. Yes, Lord. For my pleasure. Yes, Lord. Yes, and you Lord. are created for my yes, pleasure. Lord. And I am God and there's no yes, one else. Yes, and I don't, the yes, Lord says, don't look at the things that are going on on the TV, radio, wherever. But look at me. For I am bringing my plan to pass. And it will be a lasting plan, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There will not be one hair on your head that I will not number, says the Lord. For I have seen you in the midst of my, uh, uh, in the midst of my heart, in the midst of my desire, in the midst of what I want. I have seen you, and you are my chosen vessel. You are the one that I called. You're the one that I set apart. You're the one that I made. You're the one that I formed in your mother's womb. You're the one, says the Lord. You need to know you're the one. You need to stop acting like you're not the one. You need to stop believing the enemy and its tactics. You need to believe who I am and walk and breathe and, and have your being in your God. You need to know that there is where joy is. There is where everlasting peace comes. There is where you are who you are supposed to be. There is where your fulfillment is. It's in the midst of allowing me to be the center of your joy, the center of your attention, the center of all that you are, the center of all that you're going to be. That's where you dwell, says the Lord. That's where you become live in all things, is in my midst and in my glory and in my praise. Where I dwell is where you need to be. 
You need to run to me, says the Lord. You need to come to me with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. And I will show you my glory. And I will magnify myself in your midst, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I'm running. Gonna be a winner. 99 and a half. It just won't do. Lord, I'm running. Gonna be a winner with the Lord on my side. I can't lose. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We will not be intimidated by anything. We will not let the enemy overcome us and overwhelm us. We will lift our eyes to the hills where we know our help comes from. We will magnify you and praise you and give you glory. Do your name. In the midst of our trouble, we will look to the author and the finisher of our faith. His name is Jesus. We will look to you, Lord, to do all things well because you are not against us. You are for us. And we thank you, Father, for all your mercies and all your tender kindness that you sent us on that cross of Calvary. You gave us everything we need, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, and more than enough. You are more than enough, God. And we give you all the praise and all the glory today in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that believes the Lord is the Lord, shout to the top of your voice. Amen. Yay! Hey! Hey! Thank you, Lord. Come on, give him some glory. Give him some glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor Mike, if you'll let me, I just want to share just for a second how important this prayer time is, at least for me. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, yesterday, um, I was in prayer, and everything that the Lord said to me was mentioned this morning, was confirmed from asking the Lord, am I getting too old? To minister, that was answered. He, t I kept hearing the word Moya, Moya. I didn't know what that word meant, and as I looked it up, it, it said it meant great, it meant mother, it meant the nurturing spirit, and so I got guidance in that area. And then the song "Rise Up" came up in my spirit yesterday, and I didn't really know the lyrics to that song, so I looked it up, and the thing that stood out to me was it said that. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again for you. And I said, yes, Jesus, I'll do it a thousand times over for you. Hallelujah. And I just thank God because the, the final thing the Holy Spirit said to me was I kept hearing the word more, more, more. And that was confirmed on this morning because he said, I'll give you more for the journey. And I'm going to give you everything that you need for the journey. And everything that you put your hand to shall prosper. And so I just want to, hallelujah, I just thank God for this prayer time because, you know, we question, sometimes we question ourselves and, and what we want from God and all that. But it was all confirmed by the Spirit of God this morning. No one in this room knew what the Lord said to me on yesterday. But there is oneness in spirit and I thank God for that and we serve a mighty God who is mindful of us who are we as men that God is mindful of us so I just want to encourage you make it to prayer make it to prayer make it to prayer hallelujah thank you Lord hallelujah yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord hallelujah 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 for daughter, I was with you yesterday, giving you the word and giving you in prayer. And your youth is renewed like an eagle. That my eagles, they fly and soar with the wind of the spirit. You are too. You are made from me. You and my spirit, the Holy Spirit inside. And I will keep giving you words and I will keep strengthening you and... And uh, the Lord would say, I, daughter, 
you hear me. And you're not too old. <laughs> ta, 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 yay. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All our women coming to the middle. In our heads, we thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for each and every mother, daughter that is in this place right now. Lord, they are our strength. They are the ones that help lead us and guide us in this service. They are the ones who go out and do the work. They are the great and mighty workers. Oh, mighty God, we pray for all our daughters and sisters in, in this place right now, God. We thank you for each and every one of them, Lord, the mighty and great things that you have in plan for them, the things that you're going to do in their lives, Lord. You're not through with them yet. You're just beginning, God. You're just beginning to do great and mighty things. We have great and mighty plans for you, says the Lord. And we're going to work with you and use you for our, for God's glory. For he's going to be the one that guides you. He's the one that's going to give you the strength. He's the one that's going to teach you and show you what you need to do. For he loves you with an everlasting love. And we all love you. We all the men of this church, are, we respect you. And we thank you for all that you're doing in this church. And all the things that you do for each and every one. You are the... The, the lifters up. You are the ones that bring us together. You are the ones that help mold us and shape us and to, to be the church that we need to be. Without you, we are nothing. Just like Jesus, we need you. We need your love. We need you, helper, hunter. You are the ones that help the men that be the men that they need to be, to be the strength of the church, to be the leaders. You are the great and mighty mothers and daughters of this church, and I thank you for each and every one of you, says the Lord. Now, Father, I pray that you circle them, circle them, Lord. Circle them with mighty angels, Father. Lord, I pray against every evil sickness that would try to come against their bodies in the name of Jesus. I command it to go back to hell where it came from. I command health and well-being to be under these ladies in the name of Jesus. I command arthritis to go back to hell where it came from. I command healing power to come into their lives, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to give them back everything the enemy's trying to steal from them in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to become mighty worshipers like never before, Father. They're going to praise and worship you, Lord, no matter what. In the midst of all things, Lord, we're going to hear the women praising you. We're going to hear the women glorifying you. We're going to hear them lifting you up, Lord. We're going to hear those voices of praise in the midst of the congregation. And we give you all the praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, come on, give him some glory. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Dodo Moto and Nini, oh, my son, Anna Motamo, Teche, my son, my son, Undo Moshera Romota and Niniela, oh, Shurmote, Cherian and Hyanai, oh, Horia Deria, Tatare Moshe, Sheria Motatai, Che, 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 Motatai, Hanana De, Hanunoto, Horia Moya, Hana Che, 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 Motta De Yanan and Nayala Hala, mm, ye, Tatara Motta and ye. For haven't I given you a stubborn heart for me, says the Lord? Haven't I given you a stubborn heart that you might serve me with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength? Does not the enemy know that you are mine? And does he not try to attack you and take you away from me? Does he not try to make you think that I've left you and I've forsaken you? No. I'm working with you, my son. I'm working with you. 
I see that heart. I see that desire. I see that will. I see that purpose. I see that great and mighty man of God. I see him, says the Lord, and I know him, says the Lord, and I'm praying for you from heaven that you will rise up in the midst of all your trouble and make declaration to the enemy that he has no rights in you, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. He's worthy. Give him some praise. Yay, 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 yay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Oh, come. Hey, I got some good news. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Yes. You know what I hope I'm doing when he comes back? I hope I'm standing right here with my hands in the air praising his mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's rise up. Let's show appreciation. Praise our Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being here, God. Hallelujah. Take your service today, God, for your own. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your name. Lift you up. Thank you, God. You are who you say you are. Thank you, God. You're the first and the last. The one who is the one who comes and the one. Thank you, God. Praise God. Holy, holy. Thank you, Jesus. Holy is your mighty name, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, we just pray today for this service. And, and pray, God, you come and you'll take it and you'll do what you want with it. Pray you'll be here with us, God. You'll, you'll be the one leading the service, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We lift you up. We, we, we pray blessings on the worship team, Pastor Mike. Father, use him as a vessel. Let the Holy Spirit roll through him today, God. Praise your mighty name. We love you, Lord. We give it to you today. We pray it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Well, today we're going to talk about building a house. And uh, how many ever ever gone out to the construction site and looked at them new houses that they're building? And you look at it, and and there's a pile in in a front yard. It's about twenty, about fifteen feet tall. Amen. Because they've had to dig and push and 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 knock everything out of the way so that they can put that foundation in there. You know what I mean? And now they're going to have to clean up the mess. I mean, you know, there's always a mess when it comes to building something. So I said, well, I'll be clever. I'll go on. I studied it, you know. So I said, I'll go on Google and see what it has to say about foundations. And I'm thinking, you know, it's going to come up and show me the foundations of the house and how they're built. And, and I can get a little truth in that and kind of help with the message today and guess what pops up whenever I went under there under foundation women's makeup <laughs> hallelujah I said I don't think I'm going to use that one amen So I thought today we'd talk about the source of all things. Amen. God is the source of all things. And he has given everything to his son, Jesus Christ. And by him, for him, through him are all things. And he's before all things. So in this study today, we dive into who is the source of everything. And we give the credit to whom the credit is due. The creator of all things. Amen. How many of you know we need to give credit to who credit is due? We're sitting in a church today because there's a God in heaven that's allowing us to sit in a church today. Amen? We have clothes on our body. We have, uh, 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 we've cleaned ourselves. We've allowed ourselves to eat breakfast probably. We've come into this place. We've got treats in the back. We've got, uh, uh, we've got heat in the building. We've got lights that work. Amen? Uh, we've got a chair that's got a cushion on it. Hallelujah! Hey! Amen. We need to give the, cre- the creator of all things credit to his name. Amen. Because he's worthy. 
He's worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be lifted up. Amen? This morning in prayer, the Lord was saying, if you're having some trouble, start praising me. If you're feeling down and out, praise me. Hallelujah. If you feel heavy and you feel the load of this life on you and all the things that are around you and all the trouble that's coming at you, start praising me. And I will show you my joy. And I'll give you peace that passes all understanding. Amen? I mean, we know the Lord's faithful to us. And in the middle of our trials, he's not going to leave us. Amen? Psalms 127.1. Except the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain that build it. Amen? Except the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone say, except the Lord. They accept the, he, you can't do anything except the Lord. I wouldn't be able to do this except the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, you know, it's except the Lord. Except the Lord comes and does something in us. Except the Lord continues to keep his hand upon us. Except the Lord do something great. They that labor, labor in vain. Except the Lord. The Lord must be, must not be left out. Amen? You can't leave the one who is and was and is to come out. You, you want to have the creator of all the universe and everything that is in it inside of you doing of his good will and his pleasure. Amen? So the Lord must not be left out. Leaving him out is detrimental to anyone who intends to accomplish anything of great value. Amen? So if we're doing our own thing, if we're living our own life, if we're accomplishing our own uh, situation, in other words, if I'm building the ministry for me, hallelujah, I'm building the ministry for vain, hallelujah, if I'm working in this church for me, I'm working in this church for vain. Hallelujah. If I walk in here and do what I do for me, I'm doing what I do for vain. Except the Lord. Hallelujah. Except it be the Lord in you doing of his goodwill and pleasure, you are living a life that is vanity. Amen. It's detrimental to anyone who intends to accomplish anything of great value. Is anybody in here intend to accomplish something of great value? How many of you know you're a child of the living God? He tries to tell you, hey, you're, you're over with, amen. A lot of the people today that were in prayer, the enemy had been telling them all week, God's done with me. Amen. How many of you know you don't breathe for nothing? If you're breathing, God's not done with you yet, amen. Say, accept the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I, whenever I got up this morning, I was thinking, man, I sure hope I can get something done at the church because I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And all of a sudden, I hear a preacher on TV said, if God calls you, you're the one. I said, who do I think I am? To act like it's about me and not about the Lord and about what he wants. Except the Lord. Except the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I shook it off. Any of you shaking it off? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Shake the devil off. Amen? Inclusion of the Lord is the basis of everything that we do of any great value here on earth. Amen? How many of you are looking forward to the treasures you're going to get one of these days in heaven? You know, I've heard people say, I just want to get in. I don't care about the treasures. Well, they're not reading the Bible the way they should read the Bible. Hallelujah. Because if you read the Bible, the Bible says that we are to gather up treasures in heaven where no man can take it. No, uh, no thief can steal it. It ain't going to rust. It's going to last forever. Hallelujah. I want my rewards in heaven. I don't want my right hand to know what my left hand is doing. I want to work for God with everything that's in me all my life until I fall over dead. Hallelujah. And not I don't care if anyone else knows what I do or doesn't know what I do except the Lord. 
Hallelujah. How about you? Amen. You got to let God build the house. Except the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain. They, hallelujah, that's a good word, ain't it? Who's they? They is everyone, every group, every foundation, every situation, everybody on the face of the earth, hallelujah, is they. Except they, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. Are we letting the world know that they're laboring in vain? Are we telling them that there is a God that they're going to stand before one of these days and give an account and there's good news? They don't have to die and go to eternal separation from the living God? Hallelujah. Some of you are saying, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever said any of that. I mean, you know, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Praise the Lord. Any person or group can decide how to build. I mean, you know, God never takes away free choice from anyone or any group. Hallelujah. In other words, if I want to, I can go right to independence and build me a spiral and say Jesus is going to come down there. Hallelujah. If I want to, I can build me a Catholic church that's one of the beautiful windows and all the things that are in them, and I can put me statues on the side and say, bow down and talk to these statues and worship the saints and talk to the saints and get, I can do whatever I want to do. And the Bible says, except the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain. Am I saying Catholics are terrible people? No, they're not terrible people. Am I saying the people out there are not? No, they're moralists. You know what a moralist is, don't you? A moralist is someone that thinks that their good works are going to get them to heaven. Hallelujah. Now, that doesn't mean all of them. How many of you know? No, no organization, no uh, thing that, that has doctrines and creeds, people are in and out of it. So whenever I say, uh, whenever I talk about these things, I'm talking about the organization, not the people. Amen? I, I want to touch the people, and so does Jesus. But he's mad at the organization. How many of you know that? Matter of fact, he said one of these days he's going to take the great whore and put her, uh, amen, and completely put her and destroy her in the name of Jesus. That church, the one full of harlots and full of, in other words, they bow down and they worship the things that aren't even God. And they say they're Christian. Amen? Come on now. Hallelujah. Laboring in vain. You know, having an intimate relationship with the Word of God. We have to be building our, we have to let our building instructions given us by the born, wait a second. We have... The building instructions given us by being born again believers. Amen? How many of you, when you got touched by God, he brought you to that Bible? Hallelujah. In other words, you didn't go over to Buddha. You got touched by God, got born again of the spirit of the living God. When you got born again, you came to the Word. The Bible started being something that was real to you. The Bible started being something that mattered to you. You started to live your life according to what the Bible teaches and according to what the Bible says became you because you became born of the Spirit of the living God. And the Spirit bears witness to the truth, and the truth is the Word. Hallelujah. How many of you believe the Word is what we're supposed to build our life on? How many believe the word is the final authority in the face of the earth? Amen. That heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Laboring in vain. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. To build our life without using the floor plans is useless. Amen. Amen. You know, when you look into getting a house and you, you have to look at the, at the diagrams of the new house, if you're going to buy a new house, you've got to look at the diagrams, see what the diagram. I can't make sense out of that. I want to see it built. How about you? Amen? I want to see what it's going to look like. I want to know when it, I don't want to wait till it's built. I mean, wait. I don't want to buy it before it's built. I want to buy it after it's built. Come on now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
So we got to use the right floor plans. What's the floor plans? The Word of God. Someone say the Word of God. Hallelujah. The Lord is the only true builder. Colossians 1, 16 and 17. For by Him, someone say by Him, were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Hallelujah. I think that's everything. What do you think? I think there ain't one thing on the face of this earth that is not created by him. There's not one authority and one power that's able to rule him. There's nothing that is not under the feet of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he is our personal Lord and Savior. We need to stop tucking our tail and running. Hallelujah. We need to stop allowing all this stuff that the world's pushing on us, all the troubles and the situations and, and all the heaviness of this life. We need to cast that down in the name of Jesus and rise up and be the children of God that God's called us to be. Amen? Time to rise up. For by him, someone say by him. Hallelujah. Accept the Lord. Accept the Lord and by Him. Amen? Well, if we just put that in our spirit, wouldn't that work? Hallelujah. Accept the Lord and by Him. In other words, when the enemy comes in like a flood, instead of me going, whoo, I might say, by Him. By Him, all authorities, powers, principalities, everything in heaven and everything in earth, every throne, every dominion, every principality, every power is underneath the feet of my Jesus, and He's for me and not against me. So who do you think you are? Devil, you ain't got nothing. Come on. World, you ain't got nothing. You in trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not in trouble. I got an intimate relationship with the God of the universe. Don't come after me. You come after me, you're coming after my God. Hallelujah. All things are, are, are made for by him. Amen. By him. Hallelujah. These verses show that Jesus is the only one in charge of everything. Today, but he is not only today is he in charge of everything, but he is in charge of everything from the beginning, even until now, and will be in charge for all time. Hallelujah. Hey, eternity is ours in Christ Jesus. Amen. How many of you are looking forward to eternity? How many of you are living your life for eternity and not for yourself? Hallelujah, I know we make mistakes. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the motive and the heart behind what you do. Amen? Amen? In other words, what you're doing, you're doing because of Him. By Him, I do all things. Hallelujah? Hallelujah, by Him. In earth, visible and invisible, Jesus rules over the realm of that which is seen and is unseen. Those who are his live by faith, and without faith it is impossible to please God. We believe in a God we have seen, not seen and live by faith we have in him. Hebrews 11.1 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Amen? We believe, praise God, as Christians, that we have a God that is forever ours in heaven. Matter of fact, we believe he paid the price for our sins, rose the third day, and is seated at the right hand of God until all of his enemies be made his footstool. Amen? We believe that there is a kingdom and a glory and a majesty coming. As a matter of fact, we believe there's a city that's coming down whose builder and maker is God. Hallelujah. And that that city is going to be a city that has no dirt whatsoever. As a matter of fact, the roads are going to be made out of gold. Come on. Hey, 
There ain't no roads made out of gold in this life. Y'all know Toby Mac. Y'all ought to listen to that song. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't no roads in this life made out of gold. I'm looking for you, God. Except the Lord, hallelujah. Except the Lord, my life is worth nothing. Except the Lord, I have nothing. Except the Lord, I would be nothing. Except the Lord, I am not going to do anything. Except the Lord, I am absolutely without any hope. I'm absolutely without any pain, without any uh, desire that is good. It's all the Lord, come on. And he sees everything that is visible and invisible. Hallelujah. You don't see the invisible things. You know, you need to know there's an enemy out there that's coming after you. Hallelujah. He does not want to leave you alone. He wants to destroy you. The Bible says he came to he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that you might have it to the overflowing abundance. So who are you going to listen to? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thrones. Notice thrones is plural. That means all and every single throne. Hallelujah. Throne is a chair uh, of state that represents power of dignitary who sits on it and sometimes conferring that power. Hallelujah. So every single throne that is set up, Jesus' throne is above it. Amen? All these rulers that say we're going to fix it. Come on. You're going to fix it? Where's your Jesus? I want to hear some Jesus. You want to fix something, talk about Jesus. Amen? You want to fix something, say the only way is Jesus. You want to fix something, say the Lord is the Lord, the King of kings. Tell everybody that what he says is true and everyone that don't line up with him is a liar. Then I might believe you that you're going to get something done. Hallelujah. Until you let Jesus be the Lord and the, accept the Lord, build the house. In other words, who is our nation to think they are? That the leaders think they can build this nation without acknowledging Jesus. Come on now. People are all involved in that too. Uh, who are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Jesus. Maybe I'll get a prayer meeting going on once a week all about the, all about the government. And we'll, we won't talk about it. We'll just come together and say, Lord, knock them all down in the Holy Ghost. Pour out the Holy Ghost on the president. Let him get so full of the Holy Ghost that he gets down on the floor and goes, That's the way you fight. That's the way you war. You don't fight like the you don't fight like the world fights. You know God's system is to totally opposite of the world system. Jesus said, "What I tell you in secret, go shout it out in front of everybody." He said, "Go into the go into the secret place and start talking to me and see what I won't do for you." Amen. If the church, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. God's already given us the, he's given us the foundation. He's given us the way. He's given us the truth. He's given us the life. He knows what to do. It's just a matter of us doing it. Amen. Every throne is under Jesus. Dominions. That's also plural, amen? That means sovereignty or control. How I many you know Jesus is in control? Hallelujah. He allows freedom in order for men and women to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. That's the only reason evil exists today. If it wasn't for that, he'd be on his way. Amen? He's waiting to save the soul. Hallelujah. He's waiting for someone to repent. Amen? He's in charge of everything. Come on. Some of you say, I can't understand that. That, don't, that just blows my mind. How can God be in charge and all these bad things be happening? The Bible says, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge God in all your ways, and he will direct your path. Amen? You don't know it all. He does. 
You're looking at a puzzle that ain't put together yet. He already knows what the puzzle's going to look like. Hallelujah. Don't question God. Amen. Question your own self. Say, who am I? That the clay would say to the uh, clay maker, you mold me the way I want you to mold me. No, you let God do what God's going to do. Hallelujah. You believe God. You trust God. There's no one that is, that is more sound and no thing that is better than the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Every single dominion, hallelujah, he's over it. Principalities and powers. These also are plural in all of their meaning. Amen. The phrase principalities and powers occurs six times in the Bible and always in the King James Version as its derivatives also. Other versions translate it variously as rulers or authorities, forces and authorities, the rulers and the powers. In most places where the phrase appears, the context uh, make it clear that it refers to the vast array of evil, and malicious spirits who make war against the people of God. The principalities and the powers of Satan are usually in view here. Beings that wield power in the unseen realms to oppose everything and everyone that is of God. He says, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Except the Lord. Come on. Except the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all by him, for him, through him, and in him. Amen? And he is the one that is in control of all principalities and powers. So if you're going through something, he's allowing it for some reason. Trust the Lord. Amen? Acknowledge God. Don't say, oh, I've got to go through some hard times. Now God isn't who he says he is. No, when, when you're going through the hard times, that's when you're supposed to be saying more. This is my God. This is who my God is. My God is for me and not against me. And if i got to suffer for him, I'll suffer for him. If I'm going to be sick, I'll be sick for him. If I'm going to go through some trouble, I'll go through that trouble for him. If my child is in pain and I have to go through it, I'm going to go through it for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I believe what the Bible says, that all power and principalities are underneath him. Amen? And the Bible says he's working together all things for our good because we love him, because we are called according to his purposes. Amen? Are you called today? Say, yeah. He touched me. Amen? Jesus is the authority to build. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for Jesus, we couldn't get nothing done. But because Jesus is Jesus, this church is now starting to grow. Because Jesus is Jesus, men and women are starting to get excited about the Lord. And we're going to build the house for the Lord. Amen. And people's lives are going to be changed forever because of you. Hallelujah. Because of you. Because you are going to be dedicated wholly to the Lord. You are going to live your life on fire for Jesus. Fire. Do, 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 do. Fire. Huh? <laughs> Yay. A builder must have the authority to build given to him by the government. Without sovereign rights, the land cannot be touched legally. The Lord has all authority and power, so he is the only true builder. It is the builder, he is the builder of all things. He gives us the authority to build in him. Hallelujah. Did you know you got authority? Did you know you, there's a foundation that's been laid and you all can start building on it? Hallelujah. The foundation is Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, he's my Lord and King, J-E-S-U-S, he's my everything, J-E-S-U-S, he's my Lord and King, J-E-S-U-S, my everything, J-E. Now, wait a minute, that's kind of weak. You all got more strength than that, don't you? 
J. E. S. U. S. Jesus. 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 J. E. S. U. S. He's my Lord and King, J-E-S-U-S, my everything. Amen? Is he your everything today? Can't nobody do me like Jesus, amen? 1 Corinthians 3, 10 and 11. According to the grace of God which he has given to me, as a wise master builder, listen to what Paul is saying, Amen? What has he found out about himself? He's a master builder. How many of you want to be master builders? Hallelujah. I don't want to just be a, I don't want to just barely build. I want to build something mighty in the name of Jesus. How about you? Amen. He says, as a wise master builder, say, I'm going to be a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation. What's the foundation? Jesus, and another build thereupon, but let every man take heed how he builds thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen? So, you know, if the foundation's laid, you got to stay with the foundation. Hallelujah. You know how, how bad a house would look. <laughs> If somebody decided they're going to put a stone out to the side in a little bit instead of put it where it's supposed to go, amen? It wouldn't be any good. The house couldn't stand on it anymore. As a matter of fact, the rock would make the foundation unbalanced. Hallelujah. So we've got to be careful how we build. We've got to be careful to allow God to, we've got to stay humble before the living God and say, God, you know, I can't do this without you. We've got to say to ourselves, accept the Lord. Accept the Lord, make me. Accept the Lord, build me. Accept the Lord, show me. Accept the Lord, take me and, and do what he's going to do with me. Accept the Lord, I can't do it. Amen? It's got to be him. He's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Amen? Paul says, grace of God which is given unto me. Did you know God gives it unto you? It's yours. Someone say, it's mine. This grace is mine. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. It's mine. Praise God. God gave it to me specifically for me, specifically for me to do what I'm supposed to do. Paul said, this grace that's given to me has made me a master builder. Hallelujah. I'm a master builder. How many of you know in Christ Jesus, you something else? Look at the one next to you and say, you something else. Hey, Paul realizes the key ingredients to building his grace. It building is God's grace. He is aware of the unmerited favor of God being key in him, being the master builder. Paul knows to get something done, you have to be aware that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above, in whom there is no variance, nor is there any shadow of turning whatsoever, James 1, James 1 17. Amen? you got to realize everything comes from Jesus except the Lord. Amen? Except the Lord. Master builder. Paul called himself a master builder. Every master builder is very aware of what kind of foundation it takes to build. Paul knew as a great spiritual leader that the only foundation to build upon is Jesus Christ. Amen? How many of you know he's the only way, the only truth? Amen? And then we have Apostle Peter's uh, announcement of what uh, is going to be the foundation. Amen? 1 Peter 2, 4 through 8. To whom coming... As unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious, ye also are lively stones, are built upon the spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual gifts accepted by God. I put the wrong scripture in here. But anyway, 
The scripture that I was talking about was whenever Peter said to Jesus, uh, you are the rock. Amen? No, uh, Jesus said to Peter, you are the rock. Amen? And upon this rock I will build my, my foundation. And, J and Peter had said earlier, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen? So that statement that he had made is the foundation of the Christian church. It's the foundation of everything. Amen? Jesus is the Christ, is the foundation of everything. In other words, he came, he saved, he set us free. Hallelujah. He gave us life. He died and rose again for the, for the sins of the world. Amen. He's seated at the right hand of God. One of these days, he's going to come back here to earth. And when he does, he's going to settle everything. Hallelujah. And the deed, all the deeds are going to be given to him. Hallelujah. As the, as the one who built all things. And, and he's going to take possession back of everything. And we're going to live with him forever. How many of you can't wait for that? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So he's called a living stone in 1 Peter 2, 4 and 8. To whom coming as a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Amen. What was he? Chosen of God. In other words, are you chosen of God? Hallelujah. God chose Jesus, amen, before the foundation of the world that he might die for the sins of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. He chose the man, Jesus. You know, God became a man. And as a man here on earth, he beat the devil in his own system. We can't beat the devil in his own system. We have to humble ourselves and let God beat him. Amen? In other words, you're not powerful enough to face the devil. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And we are mighty in tearing down every stronghold of the, uh, of the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen? And no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. Why? Because greater is he that's in us. The Lord, except the Lord. Hallelujah. He is enough. Someone say he's enough. He's enough. Hallelujah. I didn't say he's a nut. I said he's enough. I know it sounded like I said he was a nut, but I said he's enough. Hallelujah. These microphones are a little muffled sometimes. Hallelujah. No, he, he's not the nut. This world's the nut. Hallelujah. This world's trying to act like everything that is right is wrong and everything that is wrong is right. Come on. How many of you know we need, to let, we need to let our light so shine before men that they might see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to lay our lives down and say, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Have your way in earth, in this earthen vessel as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Teach me, mold me, shape me, make me. I know that except the Lord build me, I can't do it on my own. And if we live with that kind of an attitude, hallelujah, God can do something with us. He can do something mighty with us. How many of you are looking forward to the mighty things of God? How many of you know the Lord is true and there is no lie in him at all? Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you so much for the word of God today. I thank you that it's sharper than any two-edged sword, and it goes into the bone and the marrow and cuts and divides. And I thank you that those individuals in this church today are not just going to be hearers of the word, but they're going to be doers. That, the, that this congregation is going to rise up and become every good and right thing for you, Father that they are going to do mighty things in the earth, Lord, all by your grace and all by your mercy. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Now, if you don't know Jesus, if you need to get saved today, the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, that no one does good, no, not one. So if you have sinned, and, and all of us have, and you've never brought that underneath the, the lordship of Jesus, you've never confessed it, You've never said, Jesus, I make you the Lord and the Savior of my life. Today, I want you to do that. Amen? I want you to raise your hand and say, I'm going to make you Lord and Savior of my life right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now. Amen? And then there may be some in here right now who you really haven't made up your mind. You're on the fence. Hallelujah. 
And you need to make up your mind today who you're going to serve. Hallelujah. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. If that's you and you've been on the fence and you've, you're making your mind up now, you've heard the word and you're going to get on fire for Jesus, raise your hand and say, Lord, I'm going to commit myself wholly to you today. A new work doing me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, bless this church as they go out of here. Bless these individuals. Put mighty angels, not a hedge of protection around them, God, but put big old mighty angels all around them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless them, encourage them, help them love each other on the way out, Lord. Help them to fellowship with one another the way you desire. Bless them, Lord. Let them get a, a, a coffee or a, or a treat on the way out. Bless them, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We love you all. We'll see you next week, Lord willing. For I brought you here today because I love you. I brought you here today because I desire to put in you a new heart and renew within you a right spirit. I give you my words so that you will be able to become who I desire you to become. I want you to know I'm for you and not against you. I want you to know that I want to build you and make you and mold you and shape you. I have things for you that are great. If you desire them, you will come near to me. And as you draw near to me, I will pour them out on you, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless this congregation in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you all. See you next week, Lord willing.